Okay, top side of the X32. When you turn the unit on, you'll have some green lights come on by default. One will be this one right here, which comes on with channels 1 through 16. The other one that comes on when you turn the unit on by default is this green light right here where my finger's pointing. That's the DCA groups. Now, let's move back over to the input side. On the input side, all the inputs come in through channels 1 through 16. The board is so arranged that even the auxiliary cords from the computers are coming in through these two DI boxes here and routing back in the back to, to inputs 13, 14, 15, 16, and they're so marked on the board. The other part of the board that you need to change after you turn it on is to access the floor wedge monitor is you have to move from you have to move this button and turn on bus mix one through eight. When you turn on bus mix one through eight, then you select this button up here, which is mix bus one, which has been routed to output auxiliary, well not auxiliary, XL output number 13. So now we have control of our wedge floor monitor by this fader right here. And the way we put things into that fader is by having this light on, this fader up, and we push sends on fader with this light on, on channels 1 through 16, which it'll be on. See, this light is flashing, and now I can select what I want to put into the floor wedge. I can put, like right now, I, I have the computers into it. Let's put both computers into it, and let's put uh, the acoustic guitar into it also. And so now, I have all these things in the floor wedge if I want to play it. Now when I turn this button off, it's no longer flashing, you see all these faders come back down, but all those inputs are still routed through this fader. So that's a simple explanation of how the top side of the board is configured. What we're going to do, except one more thing, the master volume is over here on main. It says main. That's the master volume. Everything else is pretty much as marked.